the challenges that you face in tech sales, one of the challenges that I face in tech sales is just knowing that I can do it, having confidence. When I first went into tech sales, I had no idea how I was going to perform. Matter of fact, I wasn't really going to take it, the role that was offered to me in the company. Many of you probably want to know the story of how I got into tech sales. You've seen my career progression. And I was coming back from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia as a vice president. And I had an opportunity to stay the course into the role that I was currently in or in. My manager was encouraging, Antoine, you should go into sales. Antoine, you should go into sales. So we had this sales kickoff meeting, which is a annual meeting that we have every year to kick off the fiscal year, get everybody motivated to go out there and slay those dragons. Well, I had to do a presentation in front of the entire company of about 800 and so, got on stage, crushed the presentation, right? I prepared for this presentation, you know, two weeks in advance, had everything down to the T. I went on stage and this absolutely crushed it, right? Got off stage, my manager came up, who was the CCO at that time, the chief customer officer. He said, Antoine, you, you ought to do sales. I said, nah, Joe, nah, nah, nah. He's like, I'm telling you, you should do sales. What you just did shows that you will be very successful at sales. The CEO comes up, Antoine, you've done a better presentation than any of my sales folks. When are you going to make that decision to come? That was my decision at that point in time. They wanted me, I said I was going to go. All demonstrating that I have an ability to communicate, listen, put presentations together and so forth was how I got that opportunity. Now, there are challenges that I've had and I faced in sales. Confidence, knowing that I can do it. No different than any other role that you will take. If you go to a new job, a new role, you're going to lack confidence right away because you probably haven't done it. But you will gain it over time. It was just getting out of the comfort zone. I'm a person that has to do something. I have to physically do it in order for me to learn it. That's why I became an entrepreneur. That's why I decided to dive into real estate. I have to physically do it or mentally do it in order for me to learn about it. That's why I don't talk about things that I don't know. Okay? I learn by doing things, by taking action. I don't just read books and say I know how to do it. That's why when you come in this channel, I show results. I don't talk about stuff that I haven't done. There's no way for me to do it, okay? Um, but I've had challenges in sales. It's stressful. It's a high, it's the most stressful job that I've ever had, be honest with you. There's peaks and ballot valleys. There's a lot of pressure at the end of the quarter. But also I had the most flexibility I've ever had in any row. I've made the most money that I've had in any row ever. I've spent more time with my family than I ever have with any role. I've traveled more than I have with any role. So it all is subjective on what stress is like for you. How do you deal with that and so forth? I call it the most stressful, but I love stress sometimes. Stress means that I'm alive. Change means that I'm alive. Keeps my wife and I not talking about the same stuff. Keep my kids and I not talking about the same stuff. I love change. That's why we move so often. So I say this, the challenge that I've had is just the confidence because I've moved into a new row. Now we got a question on here from Randy. She says, how long is too long for a resume? I was advised to write less on a resume. So you can elaborate more during an interview. Bad advice? No, Randy, that's actually good advice. A resume should be a one page. A resume should be one page. I'll show you an example of one of mine. My sales resume, I use this for a coaching client. As an example, one page, no more. Relevant skills. What have I done what I've accomplished over my 17 years, right? And that's it. I don't have every road that I've had. You don't see the engineering roads in here. Your resume should be straight to the point. It should tell a story and speak the language to the person. Oh, you're not even seeing this. Sorry. There we go. 
right? One page. Simple. Summary, education, career highlights, and experience. One page. No more than that. You don't need three, four, or five pages. Sum up what you've done. Talk the language. Most of the roles that you're going to be applying for, excuse me, they may have five, six, seven bullet points. Make sure you just hit on those five, six, seven bullet points somewhere in your resume. Again, speak their language. Speak their language. Brother Noah's in the house. Richie's dad is in the house. What's going on, Black Ice and Chat? Brother Joshua's in the house. I got Brother Maxwell reaching out to you, Brother Joshua. Brother Joshua's in sales. Taking notes. Brother Joshua is an engineer. He's also doing sales. Very smart individual. Brother Noah. In his MIS, account manager in sales as well. Another smart individual. Ashton, a smart individual. Alaquandra is in the house. Another smart individual. Randy, RBG Tech. Is it possible as a side hustle? Sales? As an SDR, BDR, potentially. I know somebody who's an engineer. He's in this chat who also is an SDR, BDR. Absolutely. But if you want to make money that I share with you, it won't be a side hustle. You have to commit. You have to commit. You have to commit. It's no playing games, guys. When you're about getting to the money and making a good amount of money in your career, you have to commit. If you look at my resume that I share with you or my LinkedIn, you saw that I committed to my career. Therefore, by the time that I was 14, 15 years in, I can take the skills that I've learned to be able to build a business from it. Black Heights, take the money that I've earned to be able to buy real estate, 11 properties. I committed. I think that's a challenge for many people. I committed to my wife. I committed to my kids. I committed to a lot of things. You have to just commit. Commit to something. If it's going to be sales, you want to make X amount of dollars, 200,000, a quarter of a million, you have to commit. I don't know any salesperson who has their foot dabbled in something else or doing sales as a side hustle, making a lot of money. The only thing that I know people who's doing a side hustle with sales is selling some illegal stuff. It ain't tech sales. But if you're going to make some good money in sales in general and make a career out of it, make millions of dollars, half a million, quarter of a million, consistently, you have to commit. That's why I'm not on YouTube all the time, guys. I am a busy man. I commit to Saturdays. Yes, I've come to you guys live this week because guess what? It's the week after the 4th of July. I got my deals already lined up to close. Not a lot of people are in the office. So I can share my time a little bit more with you. But it's difficult to get me. I have clients. I was on a call before this live stream. And I just said, you know what, randomly, I'm just going to go live. Because a lot of the conversation that I was having with my client is what I'm sharing with you all today. So you guys have access to the information that I'm giving to my Patreon members on one-on-one coaching or my coaching clients, things that can help you in your career. So if you're on the fence about becoming a Patreon member, now you know what information you're getting. If you're on the fence about getting coaching, now you know what type of coaching I give. That's why my clients have success. And I'm proud of it. And I'm proud to shout out people having success. Again, if you need me as your coach or your mentor, book a coaching session, www.blkheights.com. Become part of the Patreon. We have Noah. We have Josh. We have Alaquandra. We have Simon Technology in here. All these individuals are out there getting to the money or on their journey and can share their experience with you. Okay? 
What other questions do you guys have? What other questions do you guys have? Again, guys, I want to see you get to the money. Many of you want to get to the money. It's important to get to the money. We know what times we're in right now. We know what times we're in right now. Again, Marvin's getting to the money. Marvin just entered the house. He's in sales. Marvin said, Antoine, I want to get like this. God damn. This is the kind of money I want to make. This is the kind of money I want to make, Antoine. God damn. Marvin said, I'm going to sales. This is the money I want to make, Antoine. God damn. So what does Marvin do? Marvin says, I'm going to sales. I'm going to leverage you as a coach and mentor to help me get there. No different than what I taught you guys and share with you on how you can get it into sales this evening on LinkedIn. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Wade. Check the questions I sent above. Think there's a couple more. Okay. Miss Wade said there's other questions up here. And she told me to stop touching my mustache. One of the things I, I do, guys, I have this thing that I love to do. And I love to touch my mustache right here because it just, it's like my calm or something along the lines. My wife, my wife sees me doing it. She sees me doing it on a live stream. She'll be like, cut that out, boy. Cut that out, Mr. Wade. What's wrong with you? I'd be like, God damn. <laughs> All right. Alan T., good evening, Antoine. Are you familiar with the industrial internet of things space and IT OT space? I am planning to book a session with you. Am I familiar with the internet of things, IT OT space? I am not that familiar with the Internet of Things space. I'm familiar with the tech space, space, devices, and so forth. But I'm not an expert in that space, A-L-T. But I don't need to be an expert in that space to be able to coach you on the steps that you can take to get in that space. Okay? Another question that came up was, was an office manager of sales until the business I worked for shut down permanently last month? Definitely appreciate this game. Dorian says, after the training course careers, will there be additional certifications to be marketable at, to employers? Well, the good thing about course careers, Dorian, is that they're going to help you be, get an internship or full-time employment. So you're going to already come out of that with employment. If you follow the steps that they want for you to follow, you're going to come out of this boot camp with a job. Now, the longest I've seen people have taken to get a job was about five months. But you will have a job. Would there be other certifications, anything like that? No, there won't. You will have everything that you need to become an SDR, BDR. Now, you can read books. I've talked about them. How to Become a Rainmaker. Exactly what to say. Those are two fantastic books that will get you going in sales. Another one, Challenger Sales. You can pick up Solution Selling as well. I love the book, Never Split the Difference, Sales Negotiation. You can pick up these in audio books as well. Fantastic books, but you won't need to leave course careers getting another certification. No, sir. Mike Ellis says, I start school for computer information systems in August, and I want to make sure that I take advantage of my opportunities. Would you recommend booking a coaching session or joining the Patreon? Well, you join the professional Patreon, Mike, then you get coaching sessions. You get once a quarter, end up being two because there's always a follow-up session. So you become a patron, you automatically get it. That's part of the package, a professional patron, that is. I think those were the questions. Any more questions in here? And make sure. Anthony Arrington in the house, getting in everyone. Mr. Simon, Cryptocology is in the house. He says he understands any of the things. So Mr., I believe it was Mr. Mike, or was it Mr.? Al, Al T, check out our brother Cryptocology, Simon, to know and learn more about Internet of Things. But guys, that's all I wanted to leave you with today. That's all I wanted to leave you with today. Brother Mar was in the house. He said, anyone who's in the New England area, specifically around Boston, hit me up. My company is still hiring for sales roles. Hit him up. Hit him up. Aliquandra, hit up Marvin. He's a Patreon member. Hit him up.